What's going on, Guardians? My name's Sly, and I'm one of the newest members and contributors for Planet Destiny. I run my own channel, Sly Nation, on YouTube, and it is absolutely great to be able to join up to better help the community. If you want to know a little more about me or my channel, hit me up on Twitter, at Sly Nation, or check out my YouTube channel, which is also named Sly Nation. Everything you'll need is in the box below. Alright guys, so enough about me, let's talk about Felwinter's Peak and the secrets that it holds. In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the secret achievement, Sing the Iron Song. Once you start up the campaign and finally unlock the peak, there's a place tucked away in the back called the Iron Temple. This temple was where you activate your new Iron Lord artifacts acquired from Tyra Karn. However, there are also bells scattered throughout the upper hallways. Each one rings in a different tone, and the right sequence of tones grants you this secret achievement. Up the stairs on the back side of where you enter is bell number one. It's the largest bell out of them all and very easy to identify. Facing bell number one, turn left and reach the other side of the room. There are five bells lined up side by side over here, and the first one you encounter on your left is bell number two. To the right of that is three, to the right of three is four, and of course to the right of bell number four is five. These numbers are important because it'll tell you which bell to ring at what time. Unfortunately, this cannot be done solo, and trolls within the tower can and will interrupt your achievement. If one of your team member pauses even for just a slight second, you'll need to start over. My best suggestion guys, go in with 5 people and each of you have the sequence written down in front of you. Assign everyone a bell and keep up who's ringing which bell in order. If you designate someone to call it out, it ends up taking too long to hear who's next and then to finally ring it. That pause will mess up the sequence. So basically, have number 1 tell everyone when he's about to ring. Each member can hear every bell rung. So keep up with which one is being rung and as soon as you hear the bell before yours start to chime, Start holding down square or X so they play at a paced melody. It's a little tricky, but after a few practice sessions, you totally got this. Now there was a guide on Reddit that everyone was talking about last week, but that one does not work. After a lot of trial and error, the correct sequence is 1, 2, 3, 1, 5. 4, 3, 2, 3, 1, and they should be played consecutively without pause. There is no 2, 5 bell sequence. Once you have the correct rhythm, this loud swooshing sound comes out of nowhere, the ground trembles, and boom, congratulations, secret achievement done. So good luck with that, guys, and now with that completed, there are two other secrets to grab while you're here. First, a dead ghost to the right side of the main fire pit, and a SIVA cluster at the top of the mountain. The ghost, easy enough. As soon as you spawn in, you'll see it to the right of the fire pit right there. Grab it, you're done. Climb to the top? <laughs> Not so much, man. You start over here by the bounty robot, and you can obviously see like a step pattern that you should follow. You kind of zigzag up for the first little bit, and then every once in a while, they try to throw you off by showing you like a dead end or a viable path that ends up leading to nowhere. It's pretty easy to figure out after some trial and error, until you start getting towards the top. Rock overhangs push you off on every other cliff, and small ledges have that slope sides, kind of like the wall of dicks in Kingsfall. You land too close to the rock face, and it'll just push you right off. If you see a flat surface with a point sticking out over the edge, something you can stand or jump from, more than likely it's there for a reason, and you need to use that or you're going to hit your head on the protruding rock or overhang, and then you'll have to start all over. Take your time, and unless you're jumping a gap, jump first and then push forward second. Sometimes the angles will launch you off a cliff. It's very frustrating, but you'll definitely get it done. My best recommendation is that you max your character's agility to as high as you possibly can, so that way you can make some of these long and high jumps. Since you can't double jump in a social space, you'll need as much height as possible, and max agility is the best way to do that. Once you traverse to the top, you'll have a fire pit and a SIVA cluster waiting for you, as well as some of the best views I've seen in Destiny so far. The top is definitely a screensaver waiting to happen. Alright guys, so this next part is a little strange and we still haven't quite figured it out, but I figured I'd tell y'all anyway. My clanmate Will fell off the side and landed on what seemed to be some kind of ice slide of some sort. Doing that actually rewarded him with a grimoire card, but I couldn't repeat it and we could never figure out how to trigger it again. So it seems to be yet another secret at the top of the peak. Once I nail down exactly what it is, I'll be sure to update y'all as soon as possible. But that's it guys, these are all the secrets that have been discovered at Felwinter's Peak so far, and this place is way bigger than I thought it would be, so no doubt there's going to be way more secrets to uncover as time goes by. Once again, glad to be a part of Planet Destiny. If you want to get in touch or see vids of my own, check out my channel Sly Nation on YouTube. Hope everyone's first day in Rise of Iron turns out to be freaking awesome, and until next time Guardians, this is your boy Sly, and I am out.